Hello everyone, we are the Hydro Rompos Group from UITM Sarawak. We are excited to present our innovative project entitled Earth. Our initiative represents a significant advancement in sustainable agriculture and we are eager to share this innovative solution with you. Hydroponics is revolutionizing the way we grow food using less water, less space and soilers. But as we embrace this innovative farming method, there is one question we need to answer. What happens to the waste? Plant root is the main waste produced when using hydroponic system. Traditionally, this waste has been simply thrown away, contributing to the environmental issues. But what if we could turn this waste into something valuable? Therefore, in this competition, we want to introduce an innovative solution by transforming hydroponic waste into nutrient-rich compost. This process not only reduces waste, but also produces a natural, organic fertilizer that can revitalize soil and enhance crop health. The process begins by collecting the organic waste generated from hydroponic system. After collecting the waste, it was dried for a few days depending on the weather. Once dried, the waste was cut down into a small piece to accelerate the decomposition process. Then, the waste was placed in a dustbin and layered with chicken manure and agriculture lime. The compost was watering to maintain the moisture content. The temperature, moisture and pH levels were regularly checked to ensure the compost had optimal conditions for microorganism. The compost was matured after 60 days and ready to use. To validate the effectiveness of the compost produced, a preliminary trial on Brassica yunkia was conducted. The trial experiment was designed to assess the efficacy of the compost by measuring and recording the growth performance of Brassica yunkia, including number of leaf, plant height, leaf diameter, speck chlorophyll content, and plant fresh biomass. The study involved applying compost at two different rates, 100 g and 200 g, and comparing these plots to control plots where no fertilizer applied. The results indicate that plants treated with compost gave superior overall growth performance compared to treatments that did not receive compost. Plants supplied with 100 gram compost shows the highest mean value in number of leaf, plant height, leaf diameter, and fresh biomass. However, plants supplied with 200 gram compost record the highest mean value for spec chlorophyll content. These findings indicate that applying 100 gram of compost is the optimal rate as the results show the plant achieved its best growth with nutrient uptake being most effectively enhanced at this application level. These findings highlight the feasibility of composting hydroponic waste and provide valuable insights into its effect on Brassica yunkia. The outcome can guide the development of sustainable waste management strategies in hydroponic farming system, promoting resource efficiency and environmental sustainability.